गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माई टूडेज टॉपिक इज ऑन अजमल कसाब इट वॉज ही वॉज अ टेररिस्ट मोहम्मद अजमल अमीर कसाब वॉज अ पाकिस्तानी टेररिस्ट एंड अ मेम्बर ऑफ द लश्कर ई तैबा इस्लामिस्ट टेररिस्ट ऑर्गनाइजेशन थ्रू विच ही टूक पार्ट इन द टू थाउजेंड एट मुंबई टेररिस्ट अटैक इन महाराष्ट्र इंडिया ही वॉज बॉर्न ऑन थर्टीन जुलाई नाइनटीन एटी एटी सेवन इन फरीदकोट पाकिस्तान her parents were noor ilahi and amir shahaban kasab ajmal kasab was charged on 312 counts in may 2010 the ter- uh, trial court found in him guilty of 80 offenses related to the 1611 2611 mumbai terror, uh, terror attack ajmal kasab was awarded Uh, the date penalty which was upheld by the bombay's high court and the uh, supreme court ajmal kasab's death sentence was carried out on november 2021 uh, 2012 the attacks uh, attack were carried about 10 uh, gunmen who were believed to be connected to e lashkar taiba pakistan best terrorist organization and i think uh, armed with automatic weapons and hand uh, grenades the uh, terrorist targeted uh, civilians at num- uh, numerous sites in the southern part of mumbai including the chhatrapati shivaji railway station the popular lipod K- uh, cafe to hospital and the theater while most of the attacks ended within a few uh, hours after they uh, began a round on uh, november to, uh, 16 26 continued to unfold at three locations where hostages were uh, taken the first is uh, nariman house second where uh, uh, jewish outreach uh, center was located and the luxury hotels oberoi uh, trident and taj mahal placed and tower Friday marks 13 years since the November 26, 2008 terror attack in Mumbai carried out by 10 Lashkar-e-Taiba terror- terrorists in the country's financial capital. Capital. The country's uh, targeted various uh, crowd locations across the city, including the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj uh, Terminus and uh, Taj Mahal too, Taj Hotel too. a uh, total 166 people including security personnel uh, lost their lives uh, while uh, nine of the terrorists were gone down by the national security guard nsg and mumbai police ajmal kasab the only ter- ter- terrorist captured ar- alive was uh, convicted and uh, sentenced to the de- death kasab was hanged on november 21 2012 few days before the fourth anniversary uh, anniversary of attack which lasted for four days the teen uh, lashkar terrorist arrived in mumbai from karachi on uh, speed boats for, for the te- four of the terrorists entered the ta- taj mahal to enter the uh, trident while two other entered the nariam house the remaining two include including kasab open fire at csmt killed killing 58 people and injuring more than 100 kasab and his partner islam khan ismail khan then uh, moved towards the uh, kama hospital on the way the ambush and kill six police officials including them mumbai anti terror uh, squads ats uh, chief Mah- uh, mahant uh, हाँ कर करे विजय सलास्कर थैंक यू सर समीक्षा यू हैव टू फिनिश योर लेक्चर एट ओके जस्ट मींस जस्ट यू हैव टू फिनिश योर लेक्चर एट डोंट डोंट अनफिनिश्ड इट ओके गुड समीक्षा यू हैव स्ट्रक्चर्ड इट वेल अजमल kasab yes uh, the biggest uh, we can say it as the biggest attack on india that is the 2008 mumbai terror attack caused a lot of havoc besized by the international community but there are lots of uh, means we can say it as uh, hidden secrets that we did not know much about it uh, i will suggest you the book all of you uh, you can read that book uh, i think that it was written by uh, rakesh maria sir he is the former 
कमिश्नर ऑफ मुंबई बोले यू मस्ट मींस रीड दैट बुक बिकॉज इट विल गिव मच मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट अजमल कसाब एंड हाउ अजमल कसाब इंटरक्टेड विथ राकेश मारिया सर एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स यू कैन गेट टू नो and uh, our braves our brave hearts that is energy commando mumbai police they fought day and night so that our citizens the uh, citizens of india the citizens of mumbai should be safe and we lost many brave hearts in 2008 terror attack i could name few uh, ashok uh, kamte sir himan karkare sir vijay salaskar sir tukaram omble sir then uh, मेजर संदीप पुनी कृष्णन वी ऑल नो अबाउट मेजर संदीप पुनी कृष्णन एनर्जी कमांडो ब्रेव हार्ट ऑफ इंडियन आर्मी वी लॉस्ट ऑल दिस ब्रेव पोलिस आर्मी ऑफिसर्स हू आर अंडर द मिशन ऑफ आई थिंक दैट ऑपरेशन ब्लैक टॉर्नेडो इज देयर ब्लैक टॉर्नेडो नेम दैट ऑपरेशन ऑल दोज टेररिस्ट फ्रॉम मुंबई यस अजमल कसाब वॉज ही वॉज कॉट बाय पोलिस अलाइफ एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट he reveals <coughs> lot of secrets about his counterparts about about his colleagues so that mumbai police and the nsg uh, could get a hang of it that where the terrorist were, were hidden and uh, and from that they are they easily executed their task and they killed all the uh, 11 terrorists i think that 10 or 11 terrorists uh, okay samiksha good uh, and uh, lastly you can also add opinion <coughs> of your own okay if anyone uh, uh, see towards india with a cross die so we have that arm, we have that potential to retaliate even more harsh okay our indian army our energy commandos our police they are stand day and night to tackle such issues and they will definitely fought and they are fighting for our freedom for our so that we can move freely okay you can add your own opinion okay samiksha yes. don't i finished your lecture topic just finished it okay yes bhai yeah okay next speaker who wants to speak next sir may i okay tane uh, go ahead yes sir uh, good evening friends my today's topic is the Cuban missile crisis also known as the October crisis of 1962 uh, or the missile scare was a m- one month four day confrontation between the United States and the Soviet Union which ex- ex- escalated into an international crisis when a, when an um, when American deployments of missiles in Italy and Turkey were matched by Soviet uh, deployments of similar ballistic missiles in Cuba Cuba despite the short time frame the Cuban missile cri- crisis remains a defining moment in US national security and nuclear war preparation the confrontation is offer, c- often considered the closest the cold war came to escalating into a full scale nuclear war in response to the presence of american jupiter ballistic missiles in italy and turkey and the failed P- bay of pig invasions in ni- of 1961 soviet first secretary nikita rushchev agreed to cuba's request to place nuclear nuclear missiles on the island to deter a future invasion an agreement was was reached during a secret meeting between Rusk uh, Rusk and Cuban Prime Minister Fidel Castro in July 1962 uh, and construction of a number of missile launch facilities started later that summer meanwhile the 1962 united states election were underway and the white house denied charges for months that it was ignoring dangerous soviet missiles 140 km from florida the missile preparation were confirmed when an us air force ut u2 spy plane produced clear photographic evidence of medium range r12 nato code name ss4 and intermediate range r14 ballistic missile facilities thank you sir
तने गुड गुड लेक्चर एट कुबन मिसल क्राइसिस इट इज वेरी मीन्स वी कैन से इट एज वेन द वर्ल्ड इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट दैट इज द नैटो अलायसेस एंड द वेर्स ऑफ एक्ट नैटो बिलोंग्स टू द यू एस एलिस एंड द वर्स ऑफ एक्ट बिलोंग्स टू रशिया सो वेन द वर्ल्ड इज डिवाइडेड बिटवीन टू ग्रुप्स सो इट प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टंट रोल वॉट हैपन वेन रशिया डिप्लॉइड रशिया डिप्लॉइड द न्यूक्लियर वॉर हेड्स इन कुबेन सो ऑल द यू मीन्स द मेजोरिटी पार्ट ऑफ यू एस ए इट फॉल्स अंडर दैट न्यूक्लियर वॉर हेड एंड मीन यू हैव ऑल्सो मेन्शन द डिस्टन्स बिटवीन दैट क्यूबा क्यूबा इट इज अ स्मॉल आयलैंड कंट्री नियर गल्फ ऑफ मेक्सिको यू कैन ऑल्सो यू कैन ऑल्सो सर्च ऑन गूगल मैप सो यू कैन फाइंड इट इट इज अ वेरी स्मॉल कंट्री एंड इन दैट कंट्री रशिया डिप्लॉइड इट्स न्यूक्लियर वॉर हेड्स <clears throat> so that they can easily attack on usa and for the first time whole usa kept whole usa is under the under the influence of that nuclear warheads because where if russia launched that nuclear warheads then it will definitely impact usa because it is very close if you can see cuba cuba is a, a very small island which is situated near gulf of mexico and it is very near from usa you have also mentioned the distance between cuba and florida yes correctly you mentioned and uh, it is one of the most serious crises that uh, that had undergone in our uh, past that is i think that uh, at that time was uh, the clouds of second world war is shivering or i think that it is after cold war i am not sure about it but yes russia deployed it and later for cold war cold war yes means i have not uh, means i am confused between second world war or cold war yes and after that russia also pull back its nuclear warheads it is very interesting means uh, i am not say interesting but <clears throat> if you can get to know about the world history so you can get means you can get all over the all over world's knowledge if you get to know about the international relations what are the cuban crisis ukraine crisis okay so i think i means according to my opinion i think that everyone should okay gayatri everyone should Uh, take everyone should take knowledge of uh, international uh, relations because it is important from gk perspective okay tane good a very good topic you have selected okay tane good uh, gayatri yes sir gayatri go ahead thank you sir hello friends good evening today i am tell you about robot today the world is the generally evolving with a new ideas um, and the inventions the physical uh, intelligence industry has been the king the developing human like fingers that flow orders and the repels uh, human inputs uh, students who study the robotics works of the uh, construction decisions and and operations of the robots the term robot in the travel from the kel keep has a pay pay of the 1920 known as the robots which means of for forage level the the ma- the manacle or possibility of humans as the inspector again decision to the internal electrical uh, human human tools no uh, no all look uh, robots look like um, humanoids and some are the machines with uh, human like every details are uh, meant of for industrial uh, pure poles today a large factory liquids robots are robots or machine to do the job has become one of the important effects of our uh, living uh, here we have the assembled uh, three states uh, of 10 um, of 10 lines for students of all gel that gets to determine a robots functions in in has your the abilities and the writing skills uh, with with available spark of the cure till in you and the access vices topics of the of the thank you sir gatri why so your voice is low 
ओके सर ओके यू हैव टू स्पीक लाइक अ लीडर सो स्पीक कॉन्फिडेंट ओके एंड बोल्ड इट विल मींस यू हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट you are the representatives uh, if you joined in an uh, indian army or any of the forces or uh, if you either work in the corporate sectors so you have the potential to lead your men and to lead your men you have to become confident first of all confident speaking should be there okay gayatri uh, yes uh, robotics uh, everyone has watched the movie that is robot and it is a very best exa- good example of uh, what gayatri has mentioned that is <coughs> sorry android humanoid robot yes the robot looks like uh, uh, humans and it does all the small small things and if you if you want to do any of the things it can be easily done by that ro- by this robots but the other thing is that it can also be easily misused you have also means as shown in the picture of robot robots because it is after all a machine and the machine can be easily hacked or can be easily misused okay you can also uh, bring this point gayatri in your point machines uh, it is our future it is not yet we have imparted the machines in every sectors yes we are imparting now but it will also uh, indirectly impacts our employment opportunities our employment opportunities will be go down if we imparted the and if we inducted the robots in each and every sector it is a very uh, serious concern in our near future but it will also mitigate our tension it is also mitigate our stress and the other thing is that you can also talk about the robots from the health perspective if robots uh, came to our indian life if if in future if robots flourished in each and every household so definitely the people will face some of the health related issues you can also mention this point gayatri uh, because uh, if people sat at sits uh, sat at one place so definitely they will be having uh, uh, sugar means uh, diabetes problem overweight then uh, by sitting at one place our joints will also start uh, started paining so this these are the few examples that you can or these are the few points that you can add in your lecture right otherwise it is good gayatri next time if you speak so speak loudly and confident okay gayatri gayatri okay okay who wants to speak next i think it is ashish yes bhaiya yeah. okay ashish uh, go ahead hello good evening to everyone today i am deliver speech on sorry sorry i am saying a meaning of today today my meaning is unfazed unfazed meaning in hindi is befikr and today i am deliver speech on difference between life of village to life in cities firstly i will tell that the life of village life of village in 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 a village many of the in a village the village environment is very good for perspective of the city according to village the daily life we <coughs> we the farmers the farmers of village are eaten freshly fruit and vegetable from the farm land they they who farm farm land they eaten the freshly fruit and vegetables from their farm land and in uh, cities these types of facilities are not available and in villages are there are a pan- panchayati raj that the election of for pradhan and in a, a, as according to village the pradhan of the the pradhan of the village is elected for a universal means a person can vote then the when a majority party of when a person vote more than half then the village then they become the village pradhan and in a cities this are not in, in cities these are not available because they in cities they have a mayor mayor in mayor is also in people are electing them mayors and in villages there are less employment according to cities in cities very ty- many types of employment are available in 
villagers village are in village they are not uh, employment with a they are not employment more they are not more employment in as compared to city because in in villagers many of that like farming farming is the main occupation of the farmers in villagers and in cities they have to do some works in private sectors and government jobs to government jobs for their livelihoods and in villages they have do some types of some types of occupation according to my opinion the villages are the like a government government sectors jobs like they have not improvement as compared to cities because cities have the when we why the students of the villages are come to in cities to study because the cities cities have the more more development more develop, development as compared to village because villagers because in cities many of the schools are available for study and in villages these are as compared to city not have a many of institution for study and in in cities many of lack of space because in cities lack of space for play for anything that lack lack of space and many of things and in cities health problem are also occur in the cities because there in cities many of the not have not have a proper health not have a proper health for their environment and in villagers there are in villagers there are no such types of problem faces and in in cities more times in as compared to villagers because in in villagers in villages there are less population as compared to cities because cities have the uh, cities have a more population according to as compared to as compared to village and city have more time they when whenever where have a more where have a more population then there is a more there is a more crime is occur and in villagers also crime and lack of space according to my opinion as we when we whenever we have to whenever we have to go for development then we go for cities for life and and when whenever we have to go for a peaceful life peaceful life for then we go for then we go for village village for life for life and okay good today's my topic is over thank you jai hind jai bharat ashish uh, good uh, you cover the topic in uh, many dimensions the difference uh, between ruler and urban areas every area has got its own merits and demerits okay you have also mentioned it uh, i have uh, noted down your points what you have mentioned from agriculture perspective health perspective then there is lack of space education you talked about education then food related you have also talked and crime then population environment you have, means you have covered the topic and you have well constructed okay you can also add point you have also uh, added a point that is the opportunity employment opportunity is less in villages so that what is happening ruler urban migration is there and what is happening people from rural areas they are migrating to cities and if suppose uh, let, let 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 i give a example to you if suppose uh, i live in village and i migrated to aurangabad city for uh, for some job okay so what will happen the existing resources in aurangabad district will get exhaust before time it is the main issue and we have to address it because unless or until we develop <coughs> our villages or rural areas so definitely we could not be able to achieve the 5 trillion dollar economy and we will not able to develop our country because villages is the backbone you have also mentioned correctly mentioned that most of the population of our india are <coughs> 
lived uh, they lived in villages and they perform the activity that is farming farming is the major uh, major activity in that okay so because of that uh, last means uh, your conclusion i i means conclusion could have been much better but i will uh, just add one more point in your conclusion that development of rural areas and urban areas are are important okay if you develop rural areas then people will not migrate to urban areas okay and the resources yes. which is yes and the resources which is uh, present in the urban areas they it will not get exhausted before time okay what is what is happening population is increasing then we 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 we, uh, we need more resources to feed that particular population in particular city uh, whatever we took example of uh, suppose we took example of mumbai almost from uh, up bihar then madhya pradesh maharashtra people maharashtrians they own migrate to mumbai for the sake of job and because of that what is happening lot of population mumbai has the means mumbai is very famous for its population okay and because of that what is happening the resources in mumbai is getting depleted day by day just because of over population over migration from the rural areas to the urban areas okay at this much point you can add in okay. your lecture right okay resources are getting depleted day by day just because of the rural urban migration and one more most important point you have highlighted that is health yes if you compared the people in rural areas they are very healthy just because they did not eat the artificial food that we are eating and they are also stay away from the junk food which we ate frequently in cities okay pani puri then dal uh, then uh, mostly uh, people ate chinese food and it is not much okay and it is not much beneficial okay. to our health so you have also covered it from the health perspective okay ashish well structured and you have covered lot of points just a little bit correction in your conclusion that is your uh, the development of rural areas is also important as well as urban areas okay you have given okay. your own opinion it is best okay and if there is some correction in your opinion then i will tell you about it okay ashish good sir may i uh, dheeraj wait a minute uh sir may i Wait a minute. We will have one by one. Don't hurry up. Sir, no one is ready. Then may I start? Yes. No, Naman is there. Naman has already put a message. Okay, uh, Naman, you can go ahead. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, thank you. Uh, just wait a minute. Naman, then Ashish, yes, and then Om. Okay. Excuse Naman. me, sir. Yes. so my network is very less sir. okay then we will have naman uh, then om then parth okay okay we can i okay. speak yes yes you can go ahead naman okay bhaiya so uh, very very good evening to all the gentlemen who are present here so as well as daily activity to this my meaning is emphasis the uh, the synonym of emphasis is important means mahatvapurna okay so yeah as well as a uh, daily lecture at today's uh, i have want to uh, select one topic which is very necessary for us so the name of the topic is mobile phones pros and cons it means we know about it also that uh, in a today's technological era we use a variety of things which is related to technology so the thing is that in them or uh, in them uh, there is a one mobile phone which we have a use so first of all i would want to tell you what are the uh, it importance of a mobile phone and what is a uh, mobile phone so we we use uh, it as a daily activity it means we have whenever it is a uh, necessary for an anything for calling for an anything so we use a mobile phone so this is the thing and we also use it uh, as a many types of a uh, work which we have want to do so uh, whenever we have want to talk about a pros so there is a something as like we have also get a think uh education uh, we know about it also in the corona pandemic so our schools are closed and all our coaching institutions all are closed so it means uh, in a pandemic in a lockdown we would not want to get out from a home so at that time uh, there is a, only one opinion that we have want to select that is a mobile phone it means in a mobile phone we have want to take a subscription of an any classes and get a online education so it is also a very important thing it means this is also a one pros and on the other hand uh, there is also um, phone okay it means uh, whenever uh, you are in some critical situation as like uh, you are in uh, bangladesh and your friends live in 
uh, Afghanistan and any other country. So you should want to phone him, okay, or a message him. So this is also one pros of a uh, mobile phones. And there is one thing also location. Uh, we know about it also. There is a GPS system uh, at a present era. So the means of GPS is gl global processing system. So it is the play. Uh, it is a player with the help of internet. So we know about it also that internet. Uh, whenever in it, internet is in your mobile, so it's a it's play a very crucial role. It means in a GPS, it uh, takes a uh, lots of uh, help. And we know about. Uh, I hope uh, there is one <coughs> entrepreneur which uh, do one business with the help of a uh, GPS. I hope uh, there is Ola. Okay, Ola company. We know whenever we have want to go in any place, so we should want to uh, book a Ola car. So the thing is that. Uh, it means chairperson of Ola will be do all the things uh, held ac according to GPS system. So it's a very big thing and it's a big achievement of our technological thing that uh, we have on these all types of a thing. And now it is time to talk about the what is the cons. It means what is the disadvantage of a mobile phone. Okay. So the, the first thing is that there is a some, uh, certain types of radiations which is uh, came out from the mobile phones. So the thing is, that, uh, I I don't know which types of rays, but there is a rays which is come and it really impacts on our eyes. So we should always want to use a optical or uh, or we should uh, want to take a distance as like you know one meter or a certain type of a centimeter away from the mobile phone. And this is the th first thing. And uh, the second thing is that we have also got uh, addicted with the mobile phone. So this thing is a very bad thing you know youth reason also and we know we uh, i have also you know one thing that whenever i have gone in any place so i saw there that there are lots of uh, people or uh, it means there's a lots of a uh, student or bo boys and girls will be gathering one place and they play a game so as like uh, we i hope that you are aware of these types of a game as like a pubg and a free fire so it means they will want to make a team squad or do the certain types of a thing so the thing is that they would want to addict it to it, and I ho I hope they will be not uh, think about their life that in a future what they have want to do, but because we know that mobile phone is a good or bad, but there uh, the thing is that you would want to minimize yourself, or uh, you would want to stop to attracting towards the mobile. So these are the things, and now it is time uh, to talk about my opinion. What is my opinion towards the mobile phone? Okay, so the thing is that whenever it is needed, okay, then you will be want to use your mobile phone. And whenever it is, it you have a time, so you should think. Yeah, uh, I hope want to use a mobile. So the thing is that uh, instead of mobile phone, there is a lots of a book, bro, uh, and uh, and great great types of book will be there. So you should want to read that types of book. So this is my opinion, sir. Thank you, Jain Jai Bharat. Naman, good. Uh, just you have to maintain your flow. You are speaking a little bit fast. Okay, Naman. And you have covered uh, many points of uh, mobile phones. Pros, yes, we have now easily accessible to the areas which is not uh, accessible in uh, past uh, 15 or 20 years back. If I talk about it, then education <clears throat> definitely. Uh, you have also mentioned the COVID scenario. In COVID scenario, we have uh, a lot of crisis regarding the education, but our education did not stop, <clears throat> and we uh, use our mobile phone to. Uh, to continue our education and it, it plays a very important role so then the second thing is that without internet it is not possible we can get, get connected to our near and dear ones within a fraction of seconds we can also have a message or a call within a fraction of seconds you can also correlate with it with past that uh, posts uh, what happens in past uh, there uh, there is a system of letter writing and you have to post a letter if you want to, if you write, if you wrote a letter to your near and dear ones. And it takes a lot of time. But now it is not there. After the advent of mobile phones, smartphones, so we are easily get connected and you can also do a video call. Okay. You have also mentioned GPS and you have also mentioned Ola. Definitely. But mobile phones is not restricted to these areas. You can also use mobile phone. Now you can also see that many of the <coughs> uh, government schemes are now launched on the online digital platform uh, many farmers there are lots of schemes that I, I, I will give one example that is Matsya Setu app Matsya Setu app was launched by uh, our government and it is basically for the farmers for the fisheries who perform fisheries and uh, it helps a lot for the farmers and now you can also uh, test your soil and you can also have the uh, mapping of your field by using that online digital drone Okay, so a lot of things are happened when the advent of uh, mobile phones is uh, was there. Okay, and uh, you have also mentioned about cons. 
Yes, radiation. Electromagnetic radiation emitted when we use our mobile phones. It is very harmful radiation, especially at night. We uh, frequently heard from our elders. Electromagnetic radiation. Okay, we. Yes, we have frequently uh, heard from our elders that don't put your phone uh, near to when you sleep. Okay, just because at night the electromagnetic radiation so uh, impacts our brain okay so at night the power is more so because of that we should not keep our phone with us at night while sleeping uh, okay naman uh, good points and uh, good flow just you have to uh, let's down your speed okay okay bhai and we have also yes example of a robot 2.0 movie bhaiya yes yes you can also take robot uh, in uh, that particular uh, movie but it is other part okay in near future it will be used that we can control our uh, robot with the help of the mobile phones but uh, now you can talk about these things that you have already did it and just try to enhance your knowledge okay try to give examples in all the dimensions mobile is not confi confined to the uh, education based or gps based or what we can have okay you can also talk talk about a lot of the students are now accessing the pornographic sites that is impacting their brain you can also highlight this points and one more important correction in your lecture at aman uh, naman gps is global positioning system it is not global processing system okay global positioning is there global okay, positioning yeah. system okay okay good naman okay who wants to speak next i think om sir may om is there there is way पीपल फार्मर कैन वर्क विदउट बुल्स a farm a farmer live in a village a farmer are get up early in the morning uh, he work very hard on his field thank you sir oh you can talk uh, many things about farmer don't limit yourself okay don't try to finish uh, fast yeah. yes there is a network issue from your side and there is less network Uh, less internet but still talk more about farmer okay because with the means because of farmer we are here we are we eat three times a day without knowing and we most of uh, means i am not uh, criticizing anyone but uh, if you can see lots of lot of foods uh, has been was uh, means wasted in uh, marriages or in any functions we generally we did not recognize that how to uh, farmers did what kind of hard if a uh, hard work to reap those crops so we have to get to know about it because yes naman has correctly mentioned farmer uh, farmers are the backbone of our country uh, because uh, as our prime minister that is uh, lal bahadur shastri ji he also gave he gave the slogan that is jai jawan and jai jai kisan okay because a fauji and a farmer is very important to our nation because one protects our nation and one he grows crops just to feed us okay so you can talk much more about farmer and in your opinion you can also highlight a lot of things regarding farmers uh, what are far means what are the main reasons that are farmer are the main cause that they are suiciding and uh, what are the benefits that farmer can get if they get to know and if they attach to the government agencies and how it will benefit them so these are the things that you can brought in rather than finishing it early okay ho next time you have to speak don't limit yourself yes sir uh, okay parth and then we will have dheeraj sir i am first uh, no no parth uh, has already put a message so after parth and then we will have you okay uh, parth you can go ahead 
Uh, yes, Priya. So thank you so much, everybody. So today my topic, uh, before the topic, today my word of the that is cautious. C a u t i o u s. Cautious. Cautious means in English meaning you can say precaution and careful. This types of things, and in Hindi you can say that saadhan satar ke chakamna. So today my topic is about our knowledge and schools and. uh other things also so friends uh, we know that knowledge is very important for all the world okay and uh, you can say knowledge is a light which which uh, uh, all the people can grow that and then uh, uh, all countries can go ahead okay so uh so uh, all the people would uh, must have to uh, get the achieve of the knowledge and uh, all the things and uh, here i want to say that uh, some people they always uh, suppose some people don't know about something and uh, there is a junior who know about uh, all the things and suppose you don't know of that thing so when the junior tell to you that this is the thing of this one so then uh, sometimes uh, uh, senior all saying that you are with my junior so then why you tell me ha uh, means uh, they seen they seen of that person attitude friends here i want to say that if you uh, seen your attitude so here i want to say i can give 100% sure that you can't able to achieve your goals because you have attitude and uh, uh, suppose you don't know anything and that junior you tell to you so you will just see in your attitude so it's not good and uh, and uh, means here i want to say that uh, knowledge is a light of thing and uh, you can say knowledge is a money and uh, if uh, you don't if you don't get a knowledge so then you can't do uh, to to can't uh, so then you can't go ahead and uh, uh, and here i want to say that uh school sabouts uh some people uh, they study in hindi medium schools some people they study, study in uh, english medium schools so what about in hindi medium school they always think that uh, uh hindi medium school is not uh, good at all english medium is good at all so here i want to say that uh, uh, of hindi medium schools that uh, it's my 100% guarantee that uh, uh in in the uh, rural areas people the students they always become uh, they always become all the things they always become whatever their goals as like uh, what they want so and in english medium schools uh, I, they also are very good at all in english to speaking and all the things their math is also good all the things is good in the english medium school so here i want to tell you one story of uh, uh, Yeah, uh, uh, one thing that is uh, there is in a one village there are two people is two uh, two students has lived Ram and Shyam. So uh, they all they uh, both studied in Hindi medium schools, and uh, then after that when they passed tenth, uh, then after that they visit in the uh, urban areas for uh, achieve the knowledges and become the engineer. So then what happened in there? Uh, they took the admission in a university and uh, this is the totally in english medium school and they both they don't know how to speak in english how to understand english and so in a first semester in the first exam they means both both has failed then after that uh, there were there was ram who uh, we lot of that uh, uh, i i failed and uh, i can't able to speak in english i can't understood that means uh, they means that person is understand i can't do it means that person has a negative mindset and before that before to do, do anything they before do uh, before to do anything just the uh, negative mindset and uh, there was a ramesh who uh, who uh, first of all who think that uh, i can also speak in english because all the people they can speak in english so i can also so just uh, he visited to their teachers and then uh, and uh, then tell their problems then his her problems and then uh, uh, teachers also 
uh, feel their emotions and what uh, he want to say that uh, teachers also feel that and they also understand and then in a after two months there is a lot of uh, fall, uh, fluent in english and a lot of good at all all the things so here i want to say that before to start don't come up with the negative mindset and now ramesh is also uh, become the engineer and uh, there was a ram who didn't be, become anything and and they they had to do the work of farmer so before the doing the thing don't uh, be, uh, don't come up with your negative mindset if uh, india thinks that uh, uh, we can't able to the um, mars mission so what uh, india can do that no first of all india's people uh, they uh, think that all the things uh, all the dimensions that what is the benefits what is the not what is the plus point what is the minus point and then after that uh, uh, india get a one chance and they uh, they choose to one uh, one choice that we can do that and we have to mission that so then after that uh, india got the success of the mars mission so this is the thing and uh, and you means everybody have uh, all the things everybody have all the things everybody have a equal mindset everybody have a, uh, a lot of things but uh, there is the one question a big can you also uh, start your mind that uh, in a very proper way or not because uh, you always you always say with your mind that uh, i have a less mindset that person is a strong mindset uh, in a one minute second mean, means in one time he catch a lot of things and here i am uh, in a one second in a one time in a two time i didn't catch in a, there is a uh, i i catch a one ten times then i and then i get uh, uh, all the things so just uh, forgot you can also become of that person not in advanced but you can also reach in average and then after you can go with advanced okay and here this is the very big problem with the all all the people in the 99% people they always saying that uh, uh, why you tell to me you are junior so uh, become the junior no where is the plus point where is the profit and uh, where is the loss you can also think because uh, uh, because knowledge uh, never we say we can say that uh, i didn't get i didn't get just always try to uh, pick up more to more knowledges and then after that you can become anything and uh, there is social networking sites hai na so uh, some uh, students means all the students they have uh, all the things uh, all means i already have a mobile some people they use the mobile of uh, very profit law very profit free as a life they get a lot of things and uh, uh, they get a lot of things and uh, with the why the knowledge of the mobile but some people of the use of the mobile they uh, always in a losing way to use there is uh, always uh, playing the games the by the uh, what we can say means uh, they always do the very um, then they not use the uh, very profit way of the mobile and these kinds of things so thank you so much everybody part good you covered it well knowledge yes knowledge is very important for us without knowledge we can't sustain in this world if you have knowledge of farming so we can become farmer if you have knowledge of engineering or, or if you have a knowledge or if you took degree in mbbs so we can become doctor we can become anything with the help of knowledge but knowledge should be in a constructive way and not in a destructive way okay you can also bring some of the examples in ancient india chanakya the famous personality known by all of us you can also bring that example that with the help of the knowledge you can also overturn a empire okay nanda dynasty he overturned the empire of nanda dynasty and put chandragupta maurya as the next as the emperor of india okay alexander also thought that the nanda dynasty's army the soldiers of alexander they refused to cross the river why just because the nanda dynasty's army was very big 
it is the first army it is the first permanent army i could uh, be if i am right it is the first permanent army in our indian history in our indian past alexander alexander soldiers refused so that they can be killed by that by that army and chanakya simply with the help of his knowledge he overturned that empire and put chandragupta maurya as the emperor of india next thing chhatrapati shivaji maharaj chhatrapati sambhaji maharaj maharana pratap ji samrat ashoka then uh, samrat pitruya chauhan raja surajmal jhat this all the famous personalities they use their knowledge ranj uh, maharaja ranjit singh guru gobind singh ji if you can get if you can uh, set the example of this great kings so you definitely go forward because they use their knowledge in a constructive way they used their knowledge for the welfare of the people they never think about their uh, themselves they are not selfish they work for the people and they work for their motherland and now we take their name as a proud one more example dr baba saheb ambedkar belong from a dalit family okay struggled a lot and from that uh, uh, from that poor family to becoming the next law minister of india and to wrote down the constitution this is the main uh, this is the main thing that once knowledge can turn okay now we have the we are we have our own constitution we have our own rules so baba saheb ambedkar he can't, he did not study the, at that time so imagine that will our uh, we, we can uh, have our constitution this is no, the main sir. thing that knowledge plays because knowledge is very important and one more thing knowledge should be in a constructive not in a destructive hitler i give example of hitler hitler wants to rule all over the world but what happened the term uh, means the the term and the saying it, it is very famous in hindi vinash kale viprit buddhi we are doing the same thing that why we term nature as mother nature because nature protects us nature gives a lot of things and what we are giving in return to nature pollution deforestation okay so knowledge should be in a constructive way not in a destructive way okay okay, okay so yeah. yes okay so dheeraj are you ready yes sir okay dheeraj go ahead so hello gentlemen and uh, ladies so friends today my topic is loc so friends as we all know that uh, full form of loc is a line of control um, uh, the line of control is a military control line between the india and pakistan control part of a former state of jammu and kashmir a line which does not constitute a legal regulation international boundary but serve as a de facto a border it was established as a part of uh, the uh, arrangement at, at the end of the indo pakistan war of 1971 both uh, nations agreed to rename as a, a case fire line as the line of control and pledge to respect it, it without uh, to their respective position Uh, the minor details the line is uh, roughly the same as the original 1949 cases of fire in 2 july 1972 resulting for the case fire of 17 december 1977 71 and after of the shimla tripped the part of former princely state under indian control divided into U- union territory jammu and kashmir and ladda the pakistan control section is divided into Az- azad kashmir and uh, the nor- the northmost point of a line of control is in is known as nj9842 uh, behind uh, which lies the uh, which become a, a bond of a constitution in 1984 the south of the line uh, line of control is uh, in, lies the border between pakistan punjab and uh, jammu so thank you friends and have a good day jai hind jai bharat yes loc i think it is roughly 750 kilometers the border if i am wrong then sanjay sir can correct me uh, when sanjay sir will talk in the last uh, it is also it uh, did not termed as loc uh, in the army language it is termed as lc means i have read uh, read this uh, term in uh, Uh, lieutenant general satish sir's book india's brave heart 
so they termed army officials or army soldiers they termed loc as lc just lc okay uh, dheeraj you can add this point in your uh, lecture it and uh, yes it is a boundary between india and pakistan but both the countries can't considered as uh, the international border or uh, international border loc as international border because in many parts of uh, jammu and kashmir then ladakh region loc runs through nalas ridges mountains okay so it is very uneven the boundary is very uneven loc is very uneven and you have also mentioned the last point uh, about locs yes loc extend till the sea ice glacier because we have most because we controlled almost uh, control the sea ice glacier and uh, uh, the loc runs through it and uh, you can also talk about the loc means uh, kargil operations operation vijay uh, means what happened in that uh, Uh, in 1999 and how pakistan infiltrated just a brief information about it okay loc uh, okay dheeraj uh, good and just uh, yeah, and yes abhi tell me uh, what is the name of a border which is lies between the indian china it is LAC. lac line of actual control uh, between uh, india and china okay, okay naman uh, okay dheeraj good Uh, so we will have vaishnavi yes sir okay vaishnavi go ahead good evening everyone today's today's my topic is recycling recycling is important in today's world if we want to leave this planet for our future generations it is good for the environment since we are making new products from the old products which are of no use to us recycling begins at our home If you are not throwing away any of your old products and instead utilizing it for something new, then you are actually recycling. When you think of recycling, you should really think about the whole idea: reduce, reuse, and recycle. We have been careless up to this point with the way we have treated the earth, and it's time to change. Not just the way we do things, but the way we think. United States Environmental Protection Agency (EPA) defines recycling as recycling is the process of collecting and processing materials that would otherwise be thrown away as trash and turning them into new new products. Recycling can benefit our community and the environment. Uh, with each passing day, the population is increasing. With that, the quantity of waste so produced is also increasing uh, many folds. the more the waste production the more is the amount of space required to dump this waste now it must be remembered that the space available on earth is very limited and it is uh, obviously up to us to use it judiciously the ever growing population needs space to live and also to grow what they eat by means of agriculture if all this space were to be taken up by dumpsters and landfills the survival of human kind on this planet would be really difficult recycling solves this problem because with recycling a lesser amount of waste is dumped and some valuable space is saved thank you uh vishnu we got a good flow and uh, yes recycling is very important because we are creating a threat for us and not for us but for all all over the that means we can term it as for animals for marine animals especially uh, you can see when a whale uh, dies and uh, it comes off the coast due to the waves so when the waves uh, when the whale <coughs> when the uh, when if we do the postmortem of the whale then we can found almost 100 of uh, thousands of tons of plastic in that whale because what is there we are throwing simply the waste in oceans in the seas and it simply gets eaten by this marine animals and they are not smart enough they they can't uh, know that how uh, means uh, what is beneficial to eat or what what is not they simply eat it and because of that they dies so we are creating a problem for us not for us but for the animals also you can also uh, give example that cows cows are uh, you can see that cows eat a lot of things but they are also now consuming the plastics which is uh, Uh, which is you can say which is uh, throws uh, which uh, which is uh, which is throw on the ro- road side so one thing is that we if we have to recycle it so we have to also proper manage the waste 
what is happening in india it is very frequent if you go to a uh, kachra kundi so you can see that how the heaps garbage garbage heaps is there it is still there and it is uh, like that only and because of that what happens and cows and other dogs they came there to eat and frequently what they eat basically the plastic dates and we are creating a threat for them as well as for us also we are we are also there but we are also creating uh, the health hazards for them and it is also important from environmental perspective okay i will uh, confine myself okay uh, vishnu we good uh, who wants to speak next anyone is there who left shantanu you wants to speak i think that already all have spoken shantanu is left shantanu okay bhai i hope there is uh, no any uh, student okay. who is in there good evening jayant jayant jay bharat sir jayant sir jayant Shantanu is just preparing his mind. He is slowly picking up in a village. So Shantanu, jaldi se jaldi tayar hona hai. Okay. Uh, from my side, one point I would like to highlight: in student phase, we need to really feel about lot of things. This is a beautiful phase. First of all, of course, when we were students. or when we were children like you we used to feel that this is not the good phase when it will get over this was the curiosity that once we will will get job and will be relieved but let me tell you in hindsight this is the best phase childhood is the best phase so enjoy it but some of the things you must remember that this is your foundation phase this is your so important phase that your entire remaining life which will be a crucial part will depend how much sincere and hard working you are in the current scenario because from here on you will become doctor or an engineer or architect or ias or an army officer air force officer navy officer or banking officer whatever you are dreaming and aspiring to become it will depend what exactly investment you will do today so there is likely to be depressions this world generally should be taken as a serious word unfortunately even children have started speaking about this world which should not come in this uh, phase of life but you people are exposed to so many things today too early in life you know many things which earlier generations used to get to know little while Uh, after they really got grown up but because of internet too much of exposure you students are getting exposed to many things of life so point what i want to convey is every day will be a different one there are likely to be ups and downs in life mood swinging will be there some day you will feel fresh some day you will feel little depressed but whenever you feel little down just tell yourself just remind yourself that life is beautiful you are not the only one who is suffering stress there are thousands and lakhs of students in your stage who are feeling this pressure of exam or studies or career building this is a very common phenomena don't feel alone you should not feel alone because moment you start feeling alone you are likely to be facing more stress the beauty about army training is when there are so many students or cadets getting 
similar kind of ragda you feel comfortable so you have to remind yourself that you are not the only one who is suffering the stress of study or the exams it relieves your pressure secondly why should you feel tension there should not be any tension take it easy feel it that this is part of my duty inevitable you can't have a choice you will have choice of different types of career but you have to study a formal education is must today if someone wants to drop out of a school will not be a good option because even if you want to become a freelancer businessman or an entrepreneur of your own uh, caliber you need to understand market and all other professions there is no choice but to follow a systematic curriculum whether you want to become doctor head towards neat exam you want to become an engineer head towards cet or je exam whatever profession you want to select select it depending upon your own choice liking caliber know yourself better don't do something your friend is doing and you also feel ki wo acha hai wo neat kar raha hai to main bhi neat karunga that should not be the criteria think about your own choice liking think about your own potential and take it another important thing to note is all professions are good and all professions are bad nothing is great so don't be stressful about it ki okay my friend will become doctor but i can't become so iit yes ashish wants to go for iit good prepare for it be systematic prepare for maths because maths and physics has to be strong and chemistry will be okay but what i mean to say remove that conception rather misconception from your mind that this is good that is not good everything is good provided you are ready for it if you take out the list of uh, millionaires in india or the high paid jobs you will find variety you will find reliance industries is doing some other business adani is doing something else tatas are doing multiple businesses there are other rich people who are in different sectors there are highly paid jobs in different portfolios there are doctors who are millionaires there are engineers who are millionaires there are architects who are millionaires there are builders who are millionaires so what i mean to say you have to be a correct person suiting your talent and personality choose your profession and head towards it so that you enjoy also that journey it should not happen that you are not fit for it and you are still taking it then that profession will not be good so feel about it that i want to enjoy my life journey i did not be stressed so your choices will be better have a balanced life and one last thing i want to tell don't pick up things from the money point of view money is required but money is not the everything money is just a supplementary <coughs> if you want to judge happiness index money is not a criteria there can be a person in a hut who can be more happy than a person who is living in bangalore happiness index has nothing to do it you may be more happy than your friend who is having everything so happiness is a different story we'll talk sometime later so anything anyone wants to ask today i had time you had not overshoot much so i took little more time i hope all are happy and all are doing well health wise and mood wise and everything yes sir okay tanay tanay you have to show that you are having that extra energy okay you started with low energy with us 
I remember your couple of few first sessions. So today I feel it is improved. Okay, anyone else? Sir, I can ask. Okay, Ashish, go ahead. Sir, how to make uh, any person entrepreneur? Entrepreneur is anybody can become, but it is tough journey. There are misconceptions that business is easy and politics is easy. These two fields are most difficult. You will realize after 20, 25 years, 30 years that qualifying in IIT and doing IIT and then getting job is easy. The only mehnat is till you qualify for IIT. Becoming doctor, the greatest mehnat is till you qualify that NEET exam. Businessman has got throughout his life an exam. Every day is tough battle. Politics throughout life is a battle. You become IAS, your battle is over. You will be just shifting positions here and there. So to become a businessman or an entrepreneur, you have to study first because you must study. Preferably you must study MBA so that you will understand the larger nuances of business uh, policies, business practices, some of the uh, theories. Though even that is not a criteria because even without going to school there are successful business personnel. But today if possible one must study MBA and then you open up anything even in business anything can be successful. There are people who are millionaires and billionaires in scrap business. There are people who are failures in scrap business. There are people who are successful in um, aviation industry. But there are some unsuccessful also. Whether it is uh, malls, shopping, clothes, garments or any kind of factory, any kind of service sector. There are two elements in businesses, service sector that means providing services uh, as per the need. Housekeeping is services, Amazon is services, manufacturing is motorbike, engine production, plastic related toys production or these are manufacturing. So becoming entrepreneur, one must study the market, not difficult but you are too young to understand these things. But you have to study head towards MBA possibly, give CAT exam, go to IIMs, Indian Institute of Management and you will be pitched high to take on entrepreneurship. Okay, Ashish? Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, Subodh, I feel we have overshoot time now. You can uh, okay, now yes, sir. ask query. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. I have one question that uh, why always defense will be want a youth people as like we know in a NDA there is a interval of a gap uh, 16 to half 19. So why? Okay. Military is one area where you need physical fitness. More than that, there is a psychology which is preferred. They want people who can easily be molded. Moment you talk to a person who is 28 year old, he will have his opinions and fixated ideas. But a kid who is 16, 17, 18 till 20, 21 has got scope of understanding the things in an open mind. A kid can be told, maneuvered for national service, his integrity, his loyalty, his dedication, his purpose of serving the nation becomes much more easy to train him or her. But once you, in any other service, you may get married and then join. There are some issues which are not comparable. Physical fitness, yes, but that is one aspect. You are young can be trained but after 25 it becomes very difficult to train you physically and mentally but the larger reason is mental you may have strong likes and strong dislikes 
यू मे क्वेश्चन कि मैं क्यों सुनूं सपोज देर इज अ पनिशमेंट अ ग्रोन अप किड वे मे डिस ओबे ही विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड कि दिस इज मस्ट सो दिस एज क्राइटेरिया इज पर्पजली केप्ड फॉर द यंग इनटेक फ्रॉम द मेंटल एंड फिजिकल बोथ आस्पेक्ट्स ओके इन नक्शल आई टोल यू नमन ओके सर अंडरस्टैंड ओके सुबोध ओवर टू यू बाय यस सर ओके जेंटलमैन सो वी विल एंड आवर क्लास एंड बिफोर वी वाइंड अप आवर क्लास आई हैव वन ओपिनियंस फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू आई विल स्पीक इन हिंदी ओके आई होप दैट एवरी एवरीवन इज कंफर्टेबल इन हिंदी सो आई विल स्पीक इन हिंदी हेलो आई एम ऑडिबल यस ओके वट एवर संजय सर हेड सेड इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन योर लाइफ डेफिनेटली विल गो अहेड ओके और जैसे मैंने पिछले सेशन में भी बोला है कि अगर आप सक्सेसफुल नहीं भी होते हो तो ये एस एस बी ऐसी चीज है मतलब ये आप जो प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हो ये ऐसी चीज है जो अपनी आपकी पर्सनलिटी को शेप कर देगी इवन इफ यू बिकेम फार्मर सो इट इज वेरी गुड फॉर यू आप अगर फार्मर बन गए और आप अगर उधर लीड कर रहे हो आप उधर और प्रोडक्टिव हो सो यू कैन बी वेरी हैप्पी विथ दैट ऑल्सो ओके जो संजय सर ने बोला कि आप जो एक आदमी है झोपड़ी में रहने वाला आदमी